got shingles back in February of 2020. Um, at the time, I did not know what it was. I just thought, what is happening to my face? <laughs> and um, it was basically like blisters all the way down from my collarbone in my ear. It was on the left side of my face. Um, and it went from my hairline down to my collarbones and back toward my left ear and actually inside my left ear also. Um, I was fortunate that it didn't get into my eye because I guess that can be a really bad thing and actually damage uh, a person's vision. The worst result from the blisters is I had a very bad infection, especially in the cheek area. And so I was on antibiotics and um, topical antibiotic ointment for that too. And unfortunately, because of that, I have some pretty significant scarring that goes down the side of my face into my, not quite all the way down my neck. I would say the pain um, felt like if you burned your hand on the stove and then itchy at the same time. And um, because uh, they form along the nerve lines, then the nerves were also kind of sparking like doo, doo, and these little bursts. So there's constant burning plus these little electric shocks of pain that would uh, that would just fire off randomly and it made it very hard to sleep. And it also became infected too, so that was just another layer on top of it. Um, and I was fortunate in that the pain only lasted, most of it was gone in four months. I know some people get shingles and it's six months, a year, just a really extended period of time. So I feel fortunate in that I didn't have to put up with it for that long. One thing that I hadn't realized about other symptoms is it really is basically you have a virus. So not only do you have the pain and the itching, but you know, I, had, I ran a little bit of a fever, you know, for couple months and just felt very tired and run down and just not well. Um, and so it, it was very hard to go about my ordinary um, tasks, like take care of my house, take care of my daughter, because I just didn't have any energy. I really think in about two months I felt better in terms of the, the viral part of the illness. Um, probably another two months for the, uh, for the itching and burning in my face to really um, go down to nothing. And my ear, I think, was probably another month or two. Um, and I did, at the time, had some temporary hearing loss too, just because it got very swollen and nasty in there and uh, so that was one of the things that really irritated me. I was not hearing very well on that side and um, it almost kind of put me off balance. Like when you have some hearing loss in one ear and not in the other, it's, it's like not being, not quite having your equilibrium. I wasn't and two reasons for that. Um, I'm on Medicare and they did not cover the vaccines until this year and they were very expensive at the time um, and they weren't covering them at all so it was it was outside my budget. Um, the other thing was um, that would have been about three years ago and I thought I was too young. I was still in my 50s. I was at the end of my 50s and I thought, oh shingles, that happens to people. My mom got it when she was like 72. And so I associated it with that. And when I was talking to my doctor, he explained that it can 
hit people at any time. And I'm really happy now that they have a vaccine that's geared towards people who are younger than 60.